you know about this one already. Oops, Daisy. What we're going to do is use parts from this one to fix something else. Too high. Let's try 320. It'll take longer. Now, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's hot. because I broke it and I was trying to see how it went about repairing. It repaired pretty good, but I'm not going to use that one. Skaggy bits, take that in another time. Now, the reason we have been tearing these parts off, I am um, saw a listing on eBay for two quadcopters and a GPS. Shout out to Steve, right, mate? Um, now, I made an offer to the chap and he came back with a counter price and he said, well, you know, just wait and bid, you might get a good price on it. 
And I was like, oh yeah, that's true. So I didn't, I didn't put in the offer. And I sat and waited. Um, when it came time, the moment of uh, putting in the bid, I did actually put in the offer that I originally said that I, I kind of agreed on. I thought, well, worst case scenario for me, he's going to get a little bit more than what I, I offered and he'll do well. Best case scenario, I'll get it at the offer price or slightly better. Well, I got lucky. So, um, Steve, he's, he's emailed me afterwards and I think he thinks that I'm not the sort of person who's going to enjoy what I've actually got. And I think maybe he's thinking I'm a reseller, but as you all know, no, that's definitely not the case. So I email him and I say to him, um, "Yeah, um, don't worry, it's the GPS thing I needed, really. Uh, the quads are just bonus, really, and I'm going to keep them and I'm going to do some modifications to them." And he's like, oh, great, I'd like to see what you do. So I thought, right, OK. I sent him a couple of videos of what I did. And he comes back and he's like, you know what, I'm really chuffed. This is going to a good home for multi rotors And not like to someone who's just going to, you know, break it all apart and sell it. And I thought, yeah. I do want to keep it, I do want to enjoy it, I do want to make them under 250 grams project, I do want to have all kind of modifications and stuff. Um, you'll never make an AR drone under 250 grams, I'll tell you that now, right? If you're going properly, but with some, um, some modification, I think you can get away with it, right? So there's this or reject piece on that one. Bring you on. Sorry, just try to get these leads free. There you go. And the blue. And I'm gonna hang up on red and yellow. White. I enjoy that pink. One, two, three, four. Ah, that's, that'll be white. So yeah, I got the quads, and they were as, um, just as he said, well, minor discrepancies. Um, one was supposed to be new, to be honest, I don't think it was, but that's not in a way like saying, oh, he was lying. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that it was, uh, the blade showed marks of use. Yeah, but that's neither here nor there to me. Couldn't care less. Sort of person who will 
magically mess up anything. Okay, we are golden. I'll just put it through. Everyone's pulled through to the sea. Great. Alright. So, what I thought I'd do is restore it. I'm going to restore the quad to full working condition, right? So that Steve can see it. Yeah, so there we now have a brand new leg on. That was the first problem. Now, the student amongst you will know that I've taken off more than one. Well, here's the beautiful thing. With the parts that I've been buying recently, another friend of mine, Dave, he managed to have the same mess app that Steve had. So, he's, um, give me the quad to play with basically but what he doesn't know is rather than play with it I'm going to restore that one as well and I'm going to send it back to him try and make it look like it's new so here we go take this one apart Fix it up when the lockdown's lifted. Surprising. So yeah, my mate Dave, he don't have a clue about this. He's sent this on to the great beyond as far as he's concerned. But, <coughs> I'm going to make it look like new again. Now I'm trying to get these ones even hotter, yeah, because of the wires inside. When I pull it out, I don't want too much strain on them wirings, yeah. So that's why, if you notice, I might be taking a little bit longer and making sure that these come off in the first pull.
there you go now what I'll do is I'll put the leads back on correct the connectors back on rather glue these in place move on to the next stage and that one I'll keep for some other, some other thing these two here well, I'll use them for another special build. Well, I can't bother to find that one. But yeah, for now, that's that bit. We'll move on to the electronics and show you what's happens when it's complete. 